It is Teacher Appreciation Week, and this morning we're talking to the San Diego Unified Teachers of the Year. We're giving them all their moment in the spotlight because, you know, teachers love the spotlight. No, they don't. They're doing it for the kids. Lee Yepes from Deportola Middle School, Go Panthers! Uh, do I have to call you Mr. Y, Mr. Yepes, or Mr. Lee? What do I call you? You can call me whatever you want. The, <laughs> kids, the kids call me Mr. Yepes. So Mr. Yepes. Okay, yeah. I love it. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, you also have the golden apple. Yes, I do. Uh, what a night last night. What does that mean to you? Well, first of all, like uh, Trisha said, it's, it's just very humbling to be a part of, of this whole thing and to be in a room with that caliber of teacher. Yeah. Um, what it means to me is we're doing something right in the classroom. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's nice to be recognized. We're not there to be recognized, you know, in this kind of thing, but um, it's nice. It's nice and it's, uh, we're fortunate to be there. Uh, you, you teach science, yes. right? Um, did you always know you wanted to teach? Because we were talking to uh, Trisha, you said earlier, and she kind of uses both, you know, the dance part and the math part. You kind of have a similar thing going for yourself. Yeah, I do. Um, I, went, I wanted to go into college, and I wanted to I first major in science, but then I ended up majoring in psychology, and I wanted to be a child therapist. Yeah. But even before that, I had aspirations of being a professional musician. There you go. I wanted to be a drummer, and maybe not so much a rock star, but I wanted <laughs> to just play drums for a living. Cool. And I mean, statistically, that's a very small yeah. percentage of people yeah. that end up making it in that business. So I knew I needed a fallback plan. And that fallback plan was college. I got my bachelor's in psychology, but then I decided to go back and actually teach so I could be with the kids every day. How do you get kids excited uh, for science, especially at that age? That's a tough age. Middle school is tough. Yes, and you hear a lot of times um, students say, I can't do science. Yeah. I'm good in math and I'm good in English, yeah. but I can't do science. Yeah. And to me, I don't see why. So the first thing I need to do is I need to break that defense out. Mm. And how do I do that? Humor, um, build rapport with the students. Let them know that you genuinely care about them. And that when they have a story to tell you that you're listening to them, not just kind of making side chatter. Um, continue follow up on some of the things that's going on, that are going on in their lives. And then when you teach the subject matter, make sure that you teach it with passion, that you teach it with enthusiasm. So if I'm teaching hydraulics, I'm going to make that the most interesting, exciting hydraulics lesson they've ever known. And even if they don't like cars or hydraulics <laughs> or anything like that, they're going to they're going to they're gonna enjoy you, it. You bring that passion to the classroom, and it's contagious. It really is. Right. Uh, what's the best way? We asked the, 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 the other teacher of the year. The best way for, for parents and students to appreciate, to show their appreciation for you guys. Last night, you get the award. That's all nice. But when you're in the classroom, how, how can someone show their appreciation for you? I think uh, since we're not in it for the notoriety, mm -hmm. we're in it to be public servants to the, to the students and to the parents. I think the best way that students can show that is to basically just understand everything that we tell them to do, everything that we're asking them to do, yeah. um, is for their ultimate benefit. To, so that they can succeed, they, can, they learn that they can succeed. Yeah. And not just in science, but everywhere else. And so I think the best thing is just you know, have an ear for us, listen to us, stay well disciplined in class. Well, oh yeah, that's important. <laughs> and sometimes you'll bust into a drum solo. If I had drums there, I would. Oh, come on, man. We don't need drums. Oh, Everything's a drum. It goes you know like this. Hey, oh, uh, Mr. Yeppes, we thank you at Deportola Middle School. Uh, continued success. Keep up the good work, and thank you for teaching our young people. Thank you so Great much. Great examples. We appreciate it. Thank oh, you so much. Can I say one more? Oh, well, well, go ahead. Okay. Minnie, I love you. <laughs> Mwah. There you go. See, and now we'll pause for edit. Now you can get that clip and show it. Thanks awesome. again. Thank All you. Right, appreciate it. <laughs>